All right, all right, we're back again. Who's balling? All right, what's up today? We got who we got here today? We got Jermaine Green from South Carolina State University. I need to speak up a little bit louder. We got Jermaine Green from South Carolina State University. South Carolina State University. All right, baby. So where do you go to school at? Where well, I graduated from Johnson Community College, and now uh, I played I played two years at Johnson Community College. Now I'm headed to South Carolina State. They picked me up. You know, I like I like what they got going on there. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how tall are you, man? 6'8". 6'8"? Yes, sir. Good Lord. All right, what position are you playing out there in South Carolina Four. State? Four. Four, all right. Four. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, tell us a little bit about that high school career. Um, you know, that's just a good starting point. We don't really know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do know you. I don't really know you, but what was the high school career like? I mean, I only played one year, which was my senior year. Because due to an injury, I had a major injury, so I didn't play until my senior year. I got picked up by Coach Creek from Johnson Community College. I played two years there. I got slid to Juco All American. Played there. All now, American. Now I'm headed to South Carolina State. All right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, a lot of people go to college, play basketball, scholarship programs, and things like that, and really use it to make it through their college career. Do you see yourself playing anything beyond college? Okay. You set your goals really high and try to achieve those. And so, what 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 would your highest goal be? Because I know you ain't out here for nothing. I'm gonna be my dream is being the NBA. Now I ain't gonna stop trying to get here. Okay. Okay. That's great. That's great. So, what team you playing with out here in the men's league? Uh, I think team team Johnson. Okay, team Johnson. I can't wait to see that. We here for that today. So, um, I got one more question for you. You've done a lot of steps to get where you are now. So, what would you tell other people trying to do what you're trying, to, what you're, what you're doing right now? I mean, first, first thing first, don't give up. With the power of God, like you can do anything, anything is possible. Okay. Believe in God. You take the where you want to go. All right, that's really important, man. Um, I want to thank you for that interview, man. And uh, yeah, this will be on the Stevie Gordy channel, man. It's a good start right here. I hope to see you some more out here. All right, thank you. Yo, 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 we got here on the Stevie Gordy TV show. How you doing? It's Ty Simmons, man. Ty Simmons, what's up, dog, man? Uh, seen about two weekends ago, man. I think you was the first one to put up over 40, 40 points mm -hmm. in the league. Yeah, right man. here at the men's league, representing Team Go, right? Yes, sir. All right, well, you know, I'm just doing these little interviews so we can know a little bit about the players who are on the court, let people know the level of talent that's really playing right now. So. I just want to ask you a few questions, man. Uh, how long, how much basketball have you played in your lifetime, man? Uh, so, honestly, I pretty much started basketball at beginning of, like, sixth or seventh grade. Sixth or seventh grade, okay. So, um, middle school, high school, anything beyond high school? Uh, college. I went to Pitt Community College, played two years on the Derrick Mullins. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna ask you about uh, high school and then college level two. All right. So, how was your high school career? High school career is pretty solid, man. I got a state championship my last year at East Carteret. Boom. Okay. That's saying enough right there. State champion right here in front of us. All right. So how was your college? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So how was uh, Pitt Community College, man? Uh, Pitt Community College was a great experience. It taught me I need to be better and just keep upping my level. Derek Mullins pushed me to my potential to be great, so. Okay. So uh, what kind of player were you in in, in uh, Community College basketball? Like, did you score the same way that you score out here? So no, so it's more like developing scoring. I mean, I started to up my level and up my game. It's just becoming more of a shooter and, I mean, progressing on the defensive side, becoming a dog at defense. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's great because there ain't too many dogs on defense out there. But uh, so would you say work on your defensive game is something the younger kids need to do yeah. to get to the level you made it? Uh, absolutely. Defense is what starts it all. Defense is what ignites your offense. You get defensive stops, you shut down another team's offense. It's a you to be great, and I mean, okay. Going to so playing at the community college level, people see D1 colleges on TV. Yeah, they see the 
TV all the time and they think that's the only route. Community college, that was a great experience for you, right? Yeah, community college can set up you going to D1 or possibly Division two. Just keep your academics up and keep, keep exceeding and excelling and things. Okay, so beyond that, man, uh, being able to come out, how old are you now? I'm 26 years old now. 26, and being able to come out here and play the way you do, there's other guys the same skill set on the floor, but you seem to be, you know, at a high level. Do you still work out all the time? Uh, yeah, so currently I play in the military. I'm in the military basketball. I play with um, East Carolina War Dogs. Okay. We get at it. Yeah, y'all get at it. All right, so safe to say it's important to stay in shape, stay in the gym, and never give up, right? Yes, sir. All right. All right, thank you, Ty, man. But uh, one more thing, you got a message for anyone else trying to go down your path? Uh, keep being great. I mean, just put the work in, man. Academics first. All right, I like that, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, 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 who we got here on the Stevie Gordy TV show, man? Beam. Beam. Anthony Beam, okay. See out here balling every weekend with the men's league on Team Johnson. You enjoy yourself out here? Oh yeah, man. Let me come out here, man, and have a little fun with the fellas, man. Like I said, man, it's been a, it's been a while since I ball with some of them, man. Over 20 something plus years. So just like I said, come ahead. Oh, good pass. Come ahead, get the cheek, get the get the cheek wet, break a little sweat, get some dust first and foremost. Right. And like I said, just, just have some fun. Something, something to talk about. Okay. Something to add into the memory book, you know what I mean? Yeah. And okay. The boys out here that rock. So the, the boys out here swinging that rock, boy. <laughs> All right, yeah, so the people want to know about this uh, AAU team you got going on, man. Um, you and John Humphrey. What's what's the location? Like I said, I, but first, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the, I'm gonna get the, the, the credit to Humphrey because he, he's actually the, the, the creator of it all. Right. You know, I just trying to be, just trying to be a, a, a just trying to have my, my little piece of ingredients to, to, to a support. You know, I may only be a couple yeah. of grams of sugar, but without that couple of grams of sugar, the pie might not be sweet. So yeah. I'm just trying to be my, you know, try to be my little, my little part and everything. So okay. I want to give it to him for actually putting, putting the team together. Okay. Um, bringing on me, me Mr. Wright, you know, that just, just help, you know, build, build the youth, man. Because yeah. at the end of the day, all of us, being that age, all of us, if they out there playing with us, we know they dream. Okay. And we all at one point had those dreams. Maybe just didn't have the right people to really care about it. Not just on basketball, but also off the court. So, yeah. you know, we're also trying to bring that, that positive role model, not just in between the lines, but off the court. So what a, a, a true definition of a team is. And, you know, okay. And what it really takes to, to get to that next level. Because mm. I definitely know what it takes not to get to the next level. So, you know. I, I try to just definitely show 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 my part and try to be that that that, that positive example. Okay. So like I you know use, use myself to be that use myself to be that positive example to be that story for them to not to be like. Man, I ain't got no problem telling them any bit of my life. And, hey, right. When you got talent. It's not about the talent you got. Always oh, it's about the talent you got and, and, and how you use it off the court, off the field, not just. And on the court and on the court. So, you know, that's kind of what we're bringing as, you know, as a unit, our first year, ninth grade team. First year? Oh, yeah. Ninth grade? Oh, yeah. So, like you said, so what's the age group? 15, but we, we got eight graders, so I guess you say 14 to 15, you know, with about four or five eight graders on the team. Okay. So, what's, the, what's the name of the team? Commit, commit to Achieve. Commit to Achieve? Commit to Achieve. Man, that's great. Um, so it's a traveling team. Where do you play most of your games? Oh man, almost we we almost ain't gonna turn out any education because if you call us, that means you see something in the boys that you like. So now, not to say we take all education, but man, we almost man, we already the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it ain't no 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 certain destination where we'll play. You know, we travel the East Coast. We go out west if need be, a little bit deeper south. Like I said, man, we, we, you know, we travel, we win the ball, and sometimes know we're coming from a small area. So how many out. different schools do you think your team is made up of? 
Count Miller School. Count Miller School. Man, we probably got a total of maybe about six schools combined. Six schools combined, creating one team. Yeah. Eastern North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Here, here shortly. Here shortly, that'll narrow down to the point what those middle school now get in there with the high school. So, of course, you know, you can't go two, two or three middle schools out the picture. But right now, there's about, about five or six schools on one team. Yep. Okay. All right, that's great, man. You want to sh shout out anybody? Let anybody know how to find y'all or get up with you? No, uh, oh, man. Carolina. I'm pretty sure you, you, you know us. You know, you know myself. Um, you know our Facebook. You know his Facebook. You know the their chief Facebook page. So, you know, we ain't, we ain't hard to find. We ain't, we ain't hard to find at all. Yeah, you I know. didn't even get on that link yet. I'm going to be sure to get on that link. I the man. The team. Is Facebook is messing with Shoot, I'm pretty sure half of y'all got his number. Got my number. Call us. Text us. Man, we, we open 24-7, man. We open 24-7. No doubt. No doubt. All right, I appreciate that, Anthony. Mm -hmm. yeah, Good talking with you. Yeah, you got me warmed up. Yeah, you... Oh, yeah, putting on for the time. <laughs> All right, this, who, who we got right here on the Stevie Gordy TV show? Marshawn Simmons. Marshawn Simmons, yeah. Um, just trying to find out a little bit about you, man. I see you going crazy on the basketball court. Back and forth, lots of energy, big shots, driving in. You got basketball skill. Uh, so, how much basketball did you play in your lifetime? Oh, too much. Um, basketball is more of a comfort sport, and like to us, we've done it our whole life, but it brings people together, and really, it's just a mind relaxer. But um, in between travel ball and school ball, and even after, we're here now, and I coach travel ball, so. All right. As long as I can do it. What's the highest level you play? Um, I graduated from East Carteret and I played AAU, so that's about the highest for me. But um, travel ball, I'm all sceneries, but just a student of the game in general. Man. Okay, okay. What was your high school basketball career like? Um, high school for me was pretty good, you know. Um, I had a good class coming up myself. Guys like Jack, Malik, Sean, all those other guys. But then my older brother in that class, they just made us better. Okay, okay. Who's your older brother? Uh, Ty Simmons. Okay, yeah, we've seen Ty Simmons out here. All right, so what you doing now? We see you here at the men's league, but you know, I, I know you personally, so I know you got more going on for the community. Okay. So tell everybody what you got going on for the community. Uh, well, I coach at Beaufort Middle School out in Beaufort, and then I coach uh, the Crystal Coast Crushers. Um, me and Coach Tim Pickett, we just started an organization this year. So far, so good. Okay, what uh, county is that organization set up? Um, Carter County. It's a mixture of about three schools out in the area. Okay, what's the age group? Um, we have a sixth and seventh grade team. All right. Expanding next year, actually. Okay, okay. So is there a link that anybody can find you on with that? Um, actually, we're in the process of getting our Instagram set up, but um, I do post sometimes via word and messaging, but I know for a fact we're going to have high school and middle school next year. Okay, okay. All right, who y'all playing today, Marshawn? Because you're with Team Go. Yes. Uh, player today. Who y'all playing today? Oh, um, I think we we'll play Kyle and those guys, Coastline. Uh, Coastline, Coastline. Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. So, man, you think it's gonna be a tough game? Um, Kyle was actually on my AAU team back in the day, so I don't think he fell off much. He looks stronger. So, okay. hopefully, yeah, they got a good squad. All right, we're looking forward to a good game, man. Thank you for your time, Marshawn. All right, peace.